So this isn't Chris? I've already told you it's not. But June said that this was your new number. Who is this? It's Blake. Is this June? Are you playing a prank on me again? Do I look like June to you? I'm so sorry. I thought you were somebody else. I'll delete your number. No, don't go. Wait one minute. We haven't got many friends. We? I'm with my work colleague. Frank and I get lonely. I'm sorry to hear that, but I have to go now. You can call me Chris if it makes you happy. Goodbye. What do you mean goodbye? We're not going anywhere. Oh my gosh. I don't know what is happening, but I am so excited to see where the story takes us. Hi everyone. I'm Gabriella and welcome to a scary text message story. Let's jump right back in. I have somewhere I need to be. Maybe we can come too. I'm sorry I disturbed you. You you didn't disturb us. You were the first person to text us in weeks. <laughs> How is this? I don't like the vibe I am getting from Frank and Chris, if that is really their name. Hello? I've got a great idea, Blake. Let's meet up. What? Oh my gosh, what is that? He's trying to kidnap me? He's trying to take me? I don't understand what's happening. This is a horrible idea. Go away! Where do you live, Blake? Actually, no. Don't tell us. We'll find you. It'll be fun. We can test our skills. Leave me alone, weirdos! I messaged this number by a mistake. Really, it's no problem. We've just got to pop into work first, and then we'll head over to see you. Oh, no! Leave me alone! What is this? I don't like it! Hi, Blake. Sorry we took so long. You again! Aren't you bored of bothering me? We're on our way over to see you. You don't know where I live. Are you sure about that? We tracked your number at work. Is this a spam call? 1616 Vancouver Avenue. OMG, who are you? Wait, what? So they're really on the way to his house? We're your new friends. We panicked when we found out where you live because we live on the other side of the country. We had to take a plane, then hire a car. And you're here in town? Of course. We called in sick at work. Nothing should get in the way of a new friendship. We're not friends. I don't even know you. Don't be a spoil sport. Let's meet at Berry Burger. I can't. I'm with my grand today. How did, also, how did they know about Berry Burger and they don't even live here? I do not like this. I'm so scared. Blake needs to call the police and be like, hello, I am being stalked. Oh my gosh. But we've come all this way to see you. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call the police. Okay, there we go. There we go. That doesn't frighten us. How do you think we tracked your phone? <gasps> what? They are the police? I have no idea. How did you track it? We are the police. Well, I am at least. What do you mean? It's not rocket science, Blake. So you're cops? I'm a cop. Frank is my assistant. I do not believe a word they are saying. We use the police computers to find your hometown. And now that we're close, the rest of the search relies on a different set of skills. I'm not playing this game. It's not a game, Blake. By the way, is this where your grand lives? Oh my gosh, leave me alone. OMG. Tell her you've got to leave now, Blake. I'm leaving, all right, but I'm not going with you. Where else is there? Some of your stupid police computers don't know about. I already told you. We don't need those computers now. Frank can tell me everything I need to know. Well, what is Frank? Who are these people? What do they want from me? Okay, so you're not at Barry Burger and you're not at the park. <laughs> And we know you didn't go home. You won't find me. So go away. A confident little boy, aren't you? Let's see how confident you are when you see this. The woods? We're getting warmer, aren't we? No, no, that's her blankets. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I also would like to know how June accidentally gave them my number. Is June in on this? Whoever the heck she is out here getting me stopped by police officers who clearly are psychopaths. Are you sure? How about this? What the heck? I'm nowhere near the abandoned quarry. Are you sure about that? Please stop this. You're freaking me out. Wait until you see. Surprise. We're already inside. Oh my gosh. Blake, tell me about no, where you are. I don't want to play. Play? <laughs> This isn't a game, Blake. 
How did you know I was here? Frank sees through your eyes. What are you talking about? I have a gift, Blake. I can communicate with the spirit world. Or rather, the spirit world can communicate with me. Frank died a long time ago. What? Frank is a ghost? I literally thought I saw something. Oh my god, we got to see what I don't know what that was. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do not like filming these. But I'm stuck. I'm out here all the way over the studio. And Frank is for me. Ah! Oh my gosh, okay, guys, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe and give this video a big, huge thumbs up for me filming these scary videos because I genuinely get so creeped out doing them. But I do it for you. Frank died a long time ago, and now he lives with me. Frank likes to help people. He whispers things into my ears. And you can imagine, I've arrested a lot of bad guys with his help. That psychic stuff isn't real, and even if it was, what does it have to do with me? Let's test that theory, shall we? All I have to do is concentrate. Interesting. Frank tells me he sees old paint peeling from a wall, and an old fashioned typewriter gathering dust on the floor. Aha! Uh -huh. Jackpot! You're hiding beneath a table in the old quarry office. Leave me alone! Frank says I'm getting closer. And the closer I get, the more Frank sees. Tell me, Blake, why don't you want to be our friend? Because you're either crazy or there's a ghost living in your head! Maybe both! Well, if you put it like that, can I ask you a question? Of course. Why are you doing this? Frank told me to come. But why? He gets bored sometimes. Tells me to do all sorts of crazy things. He is my guardian angel, Blake. He keeps me from harm. And he's made me a very successful police officer. But sometimes he gets me to do stuff. It was his idea to find you. Why is he laughing at that? I thought maybe Frank was like looking out for me and that there was someone after me that I didn't know about and that this person was gonna save me. But it just seems like Frank is here to just like torture me. What's so funny? Frank whispered something. What did he say? He told me you were crying. Why is that funny? Because you're being so silly. We don't want to hurt you. Frank wants to help you. You're lying. Frank tells me you're trying to get on the roof, Blake. That's dangerous. I'm not waiting around for you to find me. You won't have to wait long. We've just seen you walk through this door. Oh my gosh, how? Like, how is he literally doing this? I knew you wouldn't be on the roof. Frank said you're a smart kid. I am on the roof. No, Blake. I don't need Frank to tell me where you are now. I can see for myself. <gasps> what is that? Wait, is that me? <laughs> Run, Blake! Stop leaning out of that window. It's too high to jump. What do they want from me? Come over here, Blake. Frank feels sorry for you. He knows you haven't got many friends. He told me the kids at school play pranks on you. I'll tell you a secret. It's not me Frank wants you to be friends with. It's him. Put your phone down and turn around. Look at me, Blake. I don't want to. Brace the moment. Is Frank going to come into me? Besides, there's nowhere else to turn. Hi, Chris. It's Blake. I found your real phone number. Sorry about that. June and I were just having a bit of fun. Oh my gosh! So they did! Like, and tried to like, give me this wrong number. What is wrong with them? Thought it would be hilarious to give you a random number. Ha ha ha, Chris. Very hilarious. A weird person literally traveled across the country to get his ghost to possess me. Yeah. It really made me laugh. So, what have you been up to? I had a visitor from out of town. Sounds intriguing. We'll tell you about it this afternoon. We? It's a long story. Sorry, Blake, I can't make it today, but we arranged to go to the movies. I've been looking forward to it all week. I'm not feeling well. My mom said I have to stay in bed. Hold on a second. So you're in bed, you say? Oh my God, Frank is inside of him. Yep, I've got a really high temperature. Okay, why is Chris a liar though, okay? Chris is not a good friend. Are you sure you're not at the park? What? Where are you, Blake? I'm at the movies, just like we arranged. I'm pretty tired, Blake. I better get some rest. Speak to you soon. That's strange. I'm being told you're out with Lee and Carl. Being told by who? A friend of a friend. So you finally managed to find someone to hang around with? Chris is a bully, oh my gosh! Maybe you can go to the movies with him. Oh, he plans on going everywhere with me. His name is Frank. You'll meet him soon enough. He'll be staying with me for a while. Oh my gosh, that was so good! So crazy! I have like so many chills! Oh my god!
goodness. But okay, Loki, Chris is a serious bully. Oh my gosh. You guys, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. And if you want to hang out with me in between uploads, make sure to follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later for the scary text message story. Bye.